And Mr. Obama, you should know something and should know something about leadership. Uh, so far, your appointments are starting to look like you have some insecurities. And that's not a good picture to paint to the American people, including your own followers. You need to get away from all this Clinton stuff, man. Look, you know that sometimes even a person that is may, maybe not ha does not have the highest IQ can actually be a better worker in a certain field. It does not. They do not all have to be Harvard graduates or, or people that uh, you owe favors to. Because what's happening here with all these Clinton appointments is you're showing insecurity, which is going to be looked upon as a weakness. In other words, to the average guy on the street like me, <coughs> I say, well, look, this guy must be scared to death. Uh, appointing, uh, putting people in there that's all been in these slots before, it's sort of like they're going to cradle you and carry you through eight years of... Uh, of, uh, heavenly bliss. Look, it's not going to be heavenly bliss, bud. <laughs> You're taking over an economy that's shot. Okay? You ha you can look at it two ways. You can crash it, or you can only go up. Now's not the time to look weak. And you cannot, you know, these folks that are, are, are lying to you and telling, to, telling you that, hey, look, you can blame everything on Bush and Bush. It's not going to happen, Bubba. And what the Republicans are going to start doing is going to start honing in that the fact that the Democratic Congress has been in control for two years, they are the actual problems here. They're the ones that are supposed to look out for the people. Bush is an administrator. The administration administrates. Congress is supposed to look out for things like stock markets crashing. Okay? So, and it doesn't matter anyway. The onus is on you. And by, by, by picking all these re rehash, rehash people, it looks like you've got some insecurity there. So, and I, hey, you need to straighten that out. Uh, this guy, Eric Holder, that is your token black. And I, and I know you have a hard time, but I like him. I think he's a good guy. I don't care about that pardon stuff. Look, he was probably a browbeat into that. Okay, that's old Bill. Billy boy there, Bill Clinton. Uh, believe me, Bill Clinton knew what he wanted done there. Uh, Eric Holder, even though he's a token black, you, you don't, it's not like you have a whole lot of blacks to pick pick from. I understand that. Yeah, he's a good pick. Emmanuel's going to give you problems, Bob. I listened to him the other day on uh, in those chief uh, CEO meeting he was at. I've watched him on C-SPAN. Uh, Emmanuel's not very smart, Bubba. I'm sorry. Emmanuel is not very smart. Um, he tip-tapped around stuff that didn't even make sense what he was saying. Um, and, and your problem with him being the chief of staff, yeah, he may know his way around, but you're going to have folks working under him, probably a couple of your age that you may have working up there are, are going to be far more intelligent than he is. You're going to have problems with Emmanuel, I'm telling you now. You know, uh, you need to think about getting rid of that guy. I, I listened to him. He... These folks uh, at where he was, uh, this, this, this convention or whatever, this where he was giving this speech and engagement the other day, these people were chief executive officers, people like that. They actually, you could see them uh, downgrade their questions uh, to this guy because he didn't have the answers. You know, he was a big, long tap dance. You're going to have problems with Emmanuel. See, that's the reason he uses profanity and he was beat people up in the past. You know, the fish, the things like that. And the way he does his finger shows one of his fingers missing. And it don't matter why it's missing, but people look at that and they say, oh, the fish, Chicago, crooks, you know, what loan shark did he own money to? It don't matter why his finger's missing. The guy's not intelligent. You're going to depend on this guy to run and control people that are far, far more intelligent than he is. And there's going to be problems there. He's going to start using that profanity, and you having the communicative, communicative skills I know you have, you're not going to put up with it. So you're going to end up firing him anyway. So do it now and get it out of the way. Tom Daschle, uh, pretty good pick, but, you know, you need to try to stay away. I mean, I don't know who your, who your uh, Secretary of State's going to be, but, man, if it's Clinton, and, man, if you go on and on and on with the, with the old Clinton bunch... That is a sign, whether it's true or not, the perception is you're insecure. 
and you've already shown your first sign of weakness. You know, you get with old Axelrod there. He 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 knows. You know, and if he's advising you uh, to do this kind of stuff, man, that's not right. It's not going to look good. And when history writes it down, uh, they're going to write that in there. Look, don't worry about these people. Look, they they the media, which I personally believe is the only reason you got president. The media is um, uh, has already set the, the set the bar too high for you. You know you can calm that down. You can start make hey make it make a speech before inauguration day, and I'll tell these people again. Let them know. Look, I'm not Messiah, and don't be talking about it's going to take four years, eight years. Just be a leader now, and it just, you need to start telling the truth. Okay, you look at that stock market. Don't look good. When you pick old rehash people like that, with all that luggage they're carrying, it looks like a sign of weakness. It, 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 whether it is or it, it, it looks like it. Looks like, hey, I need these people to carry me through for four years and then another four. No, Emmanuel's got to go, man. It, look, you know that. I don't know who you owed there, but uh, man, that's. Um, yeah, mm. this celebrity that they've thrown on you is going to be a hindrance. Expectations are too high. You're going to end up hurting the people that love you the most, which is the black community. Uh, their expectations are way too high uh, uh, for you. You know, because, you know, let's face it, you and I know that we hear these pundits all the time on TV talking about how white males like me are not educated enough, or, or Republicans like me, we're we're from the hills or something, and that most Democrats are are intellects. Well, that's only because most of those news media are, are Democrats, and they don't really like being associated with what the majority of people that vote for you are not intellects. You know that is not that is a, a myth. It's untrue. You know that, and I know that. Just look at the demographics. Look at the graduation rate for high school among the demographics that, that voted you in. So, you know, you need to get rid of that. You need, you need to quit thinking about those intellects uh, that are very few that uh, that perpetuate you getting in. The media, Hollywood, and well, Hollywood, I, they are not intellects, but whoever these people that think they are intellects. And you're not, you need to start thinking about guys like me because there's a lot of guys like me even in the Democratic Party okay so you, you, you need to come down to our level well that's where I see it that's, that's where I see it you know you, you had communicative communication classes you know how to present yourself uh, this is a sign of weakness rehashing picking all these old Clintonites think out of the box man give some other people a chance there's some good people out there. Search for some more good black folks. Take a chance. Go down south. There's some good black Democrats down there. Hell, pick a black Republican. There's fine, fine black businessmen men that could probably do that job. You know, use use the old uh, bureaucrats and and the people that have those permanent jobs there. They're going to end up teaching people, teaching the folks their jobs anyway. You know. Think out of the box. You still got time. Emmanuel's. Listen, man, I listened to him. That's the first time I ever really listened to the guy. He is not going to cut it. The man is just plain dumb. You know, he presents a good picture. You know, yeah, well, man, man, but man, when you listen to him, he has no substance. He must have you snowballed. I don't think he does. I think you're. Mu I know you're smarter than he is. But anyway, that's the way I see it. A little bit of insecurity, you can get over it. But you need to stop that train of all them silly old picks that everybody looked at those eight years that Clinton was in there. you got to stop that stuff, man. It's not going to do you any good. That's the way I see it. Bye.